Randy Lillard graduated with a bachelor's degree in physics and mathematics in 1998 and later went on to earn his Master of Science in Aerospace Engineering from Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta in 2000 and his PhD in Aeronautics and Astronautics from Purdue University in 2011. Lillard now returns to Moorhead State University for induction to the Alumni Hall of Fame. I've been to a lot of schools. I've been to Moorhead, I've been to Georgia Tech and Purdue. And uh, my favorite experiences were from Moorhead. So I wanted to leave a mark and go back to Moorhead and show students from Moorhead that even though you're from a small school, you can still do big things in, in a very technical place with people who went to school at MIT and, and Caltech and some of the biggest schools in the country. So for me, it, it sort of means validating Moorhead and the education I got um, there and the experiences I had. While a student at MSU, he served as Interfraternity Council President, President of the Student Alumni Ambassadors, and member of the Student Government Association. But it was his involvement on the ground floor of MSU's space science program that remains his greatest source of pride. Uh, I was there when they, we first started the idea of the Space Science Center with uh, Malfris. So we were, I was like one of his first students. We were back up in the uh, faculty house, you know, uh, soldering stuff in the little, you know, the little bitty old house. It looked like it was a little going to fall down at some point. So where it's gone is, is real impressive. So for me, I felt like that whole background really gave me a, a unique uh, experience when I went to college that a lot of the students didn't have. I mean, most of the students went to big schools and they just had a degree. And they hadn't really worked on flight, worked on hardware with Dr. Malfurst, they hadn't led teams, they hadn't you know, worked with faculty and, and presented in front of groups. So even though it was a small school, for me it sort of gave me a really strong base. Now residing in League City, Texas, Lillard is the assistant director, advanced development projects at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. He has held several positions at NASA since 2000 and earned several awards, including numerous NASA Group Achievement Awards and the Johnson Space Center Director's Commendation in 2009. The program I work at now, the Advanced Exploration Systems and NASA, actually awarded uh, Dr. Malfurst and his team a, 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 a um, a contract to do a satellite. So it's actually come full circle for me that uh, you know I started working with him and then now he's actually funding doing science for NASA and doing work for NASA. So I, I could always tell we always knew it was going to be big. I'm not quite sure I knew it would be that big but Malfurst he, you know, he could see a huge vision and you know we, we just had a blast working there. We, we worked Saturdays, we worked Sundays, we worked all the time but we had fun and we learned a lot and I tell you, most people don't get that, and, and people in Moorhead should be really uh, excited to have something like that at that school. There's maybe two or three other schools in the country that can build um, satellites. They fly, fly, control, and, and, and track their own satellites. And having that infrastructure there is something that these students can do, and that should relate directly to jobs, right? When they get out, they can go straight to some of the big companies and already have the experience. When we, when we hire people, we look for people who have actually, especially these days, have built hardware that has flown. And hey, have, have you designed it? Have you built it? Have you tested it? And if you go to a big school where you're just going to classes, you don't get that. So having that capability there is, is a big deal. And you know, when I was there, we had a, a little army satellite that we used that he stole from some, uh, he bought at some surplus thing that we, they redid the motors on. And we were building hardware out of plywood and you know, whatever we had. And now it's, it's, it's a big, serious deal. It's a, it's a production facility and it's, it's impressive. Lillard says the extensive hands-on learning he received at MSU continues to play a major role every day in his success with NASA. I don't think I'd be where I am without Moorhead State. I, I really feel like I learned so much uh, a broad base, technically, leadership and, and, and socially, all that there at Moorhead. I had a, coming from a physics background, I, I learned a lot of the fundamentals first. Uh, coming from working with Malfurs, I learned how to design, build, and do things uh, differently. And all that sort of, I think, gave me a, a background. So I think that's really my home, technically. A lot of the work I've done at NASA in the last 15 years has is, is made a good contribution. And, and uh, I'm glad Moorhead can, you know, actually, hopefully, has a little piece of that, right? Some of my contribution is because of Moorhead. So I, I, that's what I really like about that, that I think Moorhead gets a little piece of what I'm doing at NASA. Thank you.